Seven and four in conference play. Meet the Hoosiers. Nine and four. Right now with Indiana, Ohio State. But Michigan State has a real chance today. If they're able to beat the Hoosiers. You can count them in the race. There you see Michigan State at seven and four. Iowa and Minnesota another half game back at seven and five. In the bottom five, Michigan is six and five. The remaining four teams with sub 500 records right now. Well, you mentioned Michigan State just a moment ago having incentive to come in here. It would be double incentive because on February 1st, they defeated us or Indiana up there at the East Lansing. They did a nice job, and Indiana's got to learn from their mistakes in that ball game and come out here and make some corrections. All right, let's take a look now at the Napa important parts of the game. For Michigan State, they've got to continue that inside scoring. Petplowski did a great job inside with 16 points. And there's a look at him, 6 foot 10, 270 pounds. He's their go-to guy. Got a little fan, Fu Manchu growth there makes yeah, him look meaner. And turnovers. Indiana's got a pressure right in the 10-second line with their guards. Try to force some turnovers that could lead some easy baskets. For Indiana, enthusiasm is the key. They came out flat against Northwestern, down eight to nothing. They've got to come out ready, and Damon Bailey's got to be a key. In both losses, Indiana's had the Big Ten. Damon has not scored. And one of those was Michigan State. He's got to come out ready to play. Rebounding will be a key. Steigenga, Stevens, and Paplowski are good rebounders. Michigan State leads the league in rebounding. Indiana's got to hit the boards. Give your car the starting power it needs. Get the Napa legend, the better battery. After these messages. Both teams are looking for big wins here tonight. For Indiana, it means that they will move into an undisputed conference lead. Okay, we're just about set to get things underway here. Let's take a look at the starting lineup matchups, Les. For Indiana, a very familiar lineup. Cheney, Henderson, Anderson will be at the center. Greg Graham at one guard and Bailey at the other. Respert for Michigan State, he's just a freshman. They're a great score for them. Graham will probably be on him, but Petplowski again, the guy to stop inside. All right, we're just about set to go. Back with the opening tip-off following these messages. Why are you drinking so much coffee, Charlie? I'm about to have a Farm Bureau insurance claim. Sometimes getting in here due to road conditions outside, but nonetheless, we're looking for a big game. And uh, these coaches are too. I'll tell you, that Jed Heathcote, he's something. They picked him about the middle of the league this year, but when he doesn't, he's not expected to have a great team as usually when he does. This team is really coming together right now. All right, you take a look now at the series between these two, Indiana with a commanding advantage, but Michigan State won this last time out, 76 to 60 at East Lansing, and Michigan State has won four of the last five outings between these two teams. One of the things Indiana's got to take control of early is this home court advantage. They've got to get a good start. The crowd right now on their feet. Let's see what happens. The officials are Sam Licklider, Tom O'Neill, and Dan Chrisman, and Michigan State controls the tap. So State will go right to the basket. They go to the post immediately to Peklaski, who kicks it out. This is Montgomery. Montgomery guarded by Bailey. Indiana needs a good game out of Damon, and there's a turnover. First turnover of the game, and we talked about turnovers at the outset. Judd's concerned. The turnover is important. If Michigan State's able to get that ball into that block, that low post area, Indiana will not be able to stop them. They've got to prevent the ball from going in there, and guard pressure is a big part of that. It would mean a lot to Indiana to get the first two points. They have failed to do so in the last couple of outings. There's the inside move, tipped up and in by Allen Henderson. Henderson, very aggressive that time, going on the boards. Now, there's the enthusiasm I talked about. You see that expression on his face. Indiana needs that from all the players in the ballgame. Montgomery works up against Graham and beats Graham, goes to the glass, hard off the glass. No, Cheney comes away to Bailey, and Bailey with a reach around by Montgomery is fouled. 
Great block out that time by Anderson. He got Petlowski out of the way, and then Bailey was able to bring it down. Fouls will be a big part of this ball game. Indiana's got to create that moving offense, the slashing, the cutting to the basket, try to get Michigan State into some foul trouble, and of course, get to that foul line. The last two times these teams met, Indiana was faced with uh, recognizing they had good conversion offense opportunities. Henderson pops it from outside for his fourth point. However, it was Michigan State that provided the conversion offense and took Indiana out of the game. They really had control the whole ball game. Indiana closed the seven at one point, but Michigan State came through with a big win. Respert from outside for three. Chased down by Cheney. Here comes Indiana on the transition, leading 4-0. Anderson looking. Cheney makes a slight penetration, lost the ball, double dribble. He got into the lane and picked his dribble up, and the problem is that three-second count starts. Not a good move to pick your dribble up in that area. Wyshynski, Chris Wyshynski, 6'3 sophomore from Purcellville, Virginia, checks in the lineup for the Spartans. Stevens from outside for three, and he finds net. See how Henderson fell back in there to uh, help Anderson really on Peplowski, and that left the outside shot for Stevens. Now they will they will use a post shooter high low combination, Laz, and that that will be trouble for Indiana trying to collapse back in the middle. But I think you got to let him take that outside shot and have him make that one because you know Peplowski's not going to miss on the inside. 17:57. We have played two a little over two minutes. Anderson fires, gets the bounce of the ball. That may be a confidence builder for Eric, who's had his trouble shooting in the last couple of games. Indiana's been able to get some good shots inside. Not, haven't missed one yet. 6-3 Indiana. Plowski to Montgomery. And once again, Indiana playing some pretty stiff, straight-up man-to-man defense to Poplowski. Back out to Stevens. Now Poplowski post left. Kicks it back again. Montgomery, here's the post. Knocked away into the hands of Henderson on a good defensive move by Bailey. That's two turnovers now for Michigan State. You can see Indiana really helping uh, on Petlowski. Anderson playing behind him, and then all the other players crashing in on him when he gets the ball. Bailey. Graham, wheel move, delay, scores! Well, the momentum of this game exactly the opposite as uh, in the previous game at East Lansing. Indiana in good control right now, and their fans behind it. Poplowski on the high post this time. He'll put the ball down, but picks his dribble up, and Montgomery now as Poplowski goes back to the low post. There's the feet from Stegenga. It misses, and Bailey clears for the Hoosiers. Indiana with a five-point lead, 8-3, and the ball. Quick move, a flash and a square up by Greg Graham for two more. Boy, that's just off one pass, but the team really playing well right now. Players' confidence is up. Indiana now five out of six from the field. Michigan State trying to find the combination. They tried a little give and go to Stegenga from Teplowski, but Anderson got the deflection. It's to Cheney and the blocking foul. He tried to make the move down to shut off the baseline, but Cheney was a step too quick. The foul is on Stevens, his first. Stevens is bigger, but Cheney's quicker. There's Judd Heathcote. He really works that sideline, too. He's up and down all the time. Call goes to Indiana, his 16th year now at Michigan State. Does a great job up there. Respert is back in for Wyshynski. And a foul. That'll go against Montgomery, and Mark, the 6'2 senior from Inkster, Michigan, has picked up his second one. That's quick two for him. And we have a timeout. We played four minutes. It's 10-3 Indiana, and we'll be back after these messages. Other use of this broadcast without the express prior written consent of the Big Ten Conference is prohibited. Well, defense is the name of the game. Let's take a look, Laz. Watch the defense on Peplowski. He's got the ball. Four Hoosiers right around him. They go back to him again right there. Cheney sticks his hand in. Turnover. Anderson with the ball for Indiana. The Hoosiers lead by seven. 10-3. This is Cheney. He hasn't shot yet. But Indiana playing a very, very patient offense. A little switch underneath. Stegenga. 
Picks up Cheney. Drive by Henderson. No, but he travels. Second turnover for Indiana. He took a little hop step there, but he really liked the way he moves to the basket. Michigan State not able to stop him. You may see more of that today. Now Michigan State desperately needing a basket to get back into striking distance. Indiana with the lead and a jump ball. And possession will go to the Hoosiers as Graham came over the shoulders of Montgomery to tie him up. He really did a nice job. He didn't just dive on the ball, but he just bent over, reached for the ball, knew that he'd get the jump with that without creating the foul. Miller is in the lineup. Anthony Miller, 6'9", sophomore from Benton Harbor, Michigan. There is a magnificent execution. Bailey to Graham for the slam dunk. Those are the kind of plays that really get the crowd in the ballgame. Indiana in control early. Now this is Respert. He'll put a good fake on Cheney, but Cheney recovers well. Inside to Miller, kicks it back out to Montgomery. They play a perimeter game. Stegen fires off the rim, and it takes the long bound into the hands of Greg Graham, the sophomore, a uh, correction junior from Warren Central. Anderson wisely backs it out, post down. No travel, that's on Bailey, and he shuffled as he moved to better position. He's trying to post up inside, it's a good move. He just shuffled those feet a little bit. Damon trying to get on track early. He made the basket, and that's uh, got to be an optimistic approach for Damon. He's just got to get his mind into this game, so say the coaches and a lot of the players. Outside to Montgomery for three, and that's right on target. Montgomery with his first field goal, and it's a 12-6 game. So how quickly the score begins to add up or close up, if you will, when that three-point shot is in effect. There's a push. That will go against Miller, his first foul, as Henderson had taken a low post position. In their last meeting, Indiana only shot 39%. Tonight, they're six out of seven. Michigan State's the one struggling at two of six. Bailey is Indiana, works the ball. Oh, there was a block, a hold, I guess the cut, as Cheney tried to uh, start the cut toward the inside and flare back, and Bailey just threw to where he thought he would be. That's a no-no. Coach said better movement out of uh, Anderson. He's got to have more movement inside. Michigan State with five early turnovers. Montgomery works it up. There's a gift. Stevens misses the shot, tipped up, and a jump ball, and that's going to be possession Michigan State as Henderson came around the arms and shoulders of Blaine Stevens. Poplowski's out of the ball game, but Miller is 6'9", 255, his replacement, so they haven't lost a lot of inside strike there. You saw Miller going after that rebound. Respert works it back, and a whistle. And this is going to go against Michigan State, 35, so says the official. Matt Stegen got called for an illegal block. Judd said, what's going on here? I got to be able to set a pick, but not that way. Foul goes against Michigan State. Anderson looking for the cut. There it is. Bailey draws him up and a foul. And that will go against Miller, his second. And so all of a sudden, Michigan State, with its sixth foul, is in a little bit of trouble. Damon again moving inside on the smaller Montgomery. And then Miller has to come over to help. Montgomery's got two fouls. He couldn't pick that third one up, although they do bring in Eric Snow now to replace Montgomery. Now Miller picks up his second foul. Snow is a 6'3 freshman from Canton, Ohio. Averages about 47% and uh, just about a point per game. Not known for his shooting. Damon Bailey. 80% from the line, hits both these. He has two, Indiana has 14, and leads by eight with 13.43 left in the first half. Raspert searches for, finds Stevens in the corner. Cheney lost his man and give the basket to Respert. Respert's only a freshman, 6'3", 175. He was a prop 48 last year. He's the leading scorer on the team, though, at 16 points a game. 
Cheney, and he travels. It's that little extra work, that little foot shuffle, uh, a step over, anything to try to gain an advantage. Indiana's been getting the ball with their back to the basket a lot more in this ball game. And they're really effective when they can get it on the move, Graham and Cheney, and then just continue to the basket. So Michigan State really bottling up uh, that inside offense of Indiana. Well, Poplowski is back in. Anderson will pick him up as uh, Stegen goes to the bench. There's Poplowski. He wants to move. Takes that soft hook. Worked with that hook all through the warm-up that we saw. And this one drops for his first field goal. 14-10, Indiana with the four-point lead. Bush is trying to spread it out. There's a cut through the middle by Cheney. Anderson from the corner. That's not going to fall. And the Hoosiers with some tenacity. There was a shove. No call. Fans wanted to foul on that. Great rebounding effort by Indiana to come up with that loose ball. Now Cheney. Anderson. And a reach across and a foul. That will go against Miller. That's three on Miller. So the sophomore from Benton Harbor is in a little trouble. And he did not get in that long. Already picking up that third foul. Indiana does a nice job of moving into the basket. Look at Anderson under control there. You see the bump with the knee. Well, misses on the first of a one and one. Those are the kind of opportunities you don't like to see slip by, Laz. But 17 fouls already for Michigan State. Indiana yet to commit their first team foul. And immediately, Respert throws it away. Montgomery back on the lineup. He'll replace Miller. He will leave before he picks up that fourth. That's an excellent dead ball opportunity for Judd Heathcote to make that substitution. Well, he does with another guard for a big man. So Michigan State now playing with three guards and two big guys inside. Let's see, see how Indiana matches up with him. Cheney really trying to shake his man. Gets free in the corner for three. No, nope, they say two on the line. Back to a six point lead. Good pressure by Graham right at the 10 second line. To Snow. Montgomery inside Poplowski. He'll turn over Anderson and he travels. We have a whistle and a stoppage of the clock. 11 42 remaining. It's Indiana 16 to 10. We'll be back after these messages from your local stations. This is the Raycon Sports Network. As he moves away from the basket, gets the roll. Poplowski has recovered from knee surgery. He went to uh, Detroit de La Salle, and uh, he had an injury his senior year in high school. He had to have surgery, and it was a, a complete rebuilding of the media cruciate. Uh, the young man has done a marvelous job in bringing himself back to this level of play. Indiana with the ball and the lead, 16-10 inside. Bailey up to the glass, gets it to fall, and following was Henderson on the weak side. Indiana's really concentrating on setting Bailey inside. Montgomery's not going to be able to stop him. And even as Bailey gets around and the big guys come to help, Damon's still able to get that shot away. Montgomery has a tip and on the line. Good defense by Bailey again. Gets his hand on the ball. And Respert recovered but stepped on the line. Nine turnovers now for Michigan State. Damon with the hustle that time. Tips the ball enough that Respert steps out of bounds as he grabs it. Indiana now leading by eight and a chance to add two more with some smart play. Inside. Bailey for two. There it is. And that's your smart play exactly, Chuck. Indiana's going to keep going to that. Bailey is taking advantage of Montgomery. And a technical foul has been called on the Michigan State bench. Apparently, Judd Heathcote said something that the official did not like. Well, what's, what's happened? Look at Judd. He's going crazy now. But he said he was yelling at Montgomery. The official had walked right in the path, and maybe the official thought that uh, Judd was getting on him. But this is a big play. Now, now let's, let's hang on here. 
They've called. Michigan State's called timeout. Yeah, called a timeout, but they have to shoot the second right. free throw. But this no? is a big play. Okay, well, we're going to take the break right now, Les, and talk about this. 10-48, 21-10, Indiana. We'll be back after these messages. Indiana now gains possession. 17 fouls for Michigan State, none for Indiana. This is a big turnaround right here, a chance for Indiana to get a four-point play. Anderson trying to change his passing angle, has to give it up back on top to change Cheney. Right now, Indiana on an eight to nothing run. Oh, Cheney is right on target. Very relaxed, very composed. And now 10 to nothing, a big turnaround right here. That technical really helps Indiana. Indiana putting on the pressure in the backcourt. Respert, however, with the ball, tries to set three-point range to Poplowski. They try to get Montgomery free and succeed in doing so for his second three-pointer. There's where the stats don't tell it. Uh, Montgomery, six out of 29 from three-point range, 20% shooter, and he's two of two now in today's ballgame. 24-13. Who's your lead is 11. There's been one technical foul called. That's been on the Michigan State bench. Up! And in, the basket will count. Graham gets it, and the foul is on Montgomery, and now Mark is in foul trouble. That's his third. Well, Indiana's aware they don't have the strength to match up with Michigan State. They've got to use their quickness, and here's an example of it. Watch Graham goes up quicker than Peplowski's able to come over, and there you see how much uh, higher he is, and Peplowski draws the foul. All right, my error of Peplowski rather than Montgomery for the foul. That would have indeed been a lot of trouble for Michigan State. The 11 for Greg Graham. Bailey has six. Anderson four. Cheney four. Anderson two. And Indiana has 27 and leads by 14. Stegen got almost lost it. Look how far out Michigan State's offense is. Not a good foul there as Graham got caught reaching. But Indiana's picking up right at the 10-second line. Michigan State spreading their offense out. That's to Indiana's advantage. Judd's having a real time on that bench. Actually, he's not on it. He's, he's around it, but very vocal in today's ballgame. Indiana makes its first substitution. Matt Nover will replace Eric Anderson. Anderson's role in this game, is it a scorer or what, Lass? I think really to stay behind Peplowski. Now Nover's going to do that and control him. He's a big key to the ball game. Great block by Allen Henderson. That should add some fire to Indiana. Nover tries to work and travel. Sam Licklider makes the call. He's just in the ball game. Maybe needs to just make a pass or two, or if he's open, take that quick shot. He tried to create a shot there, and it wasn't there. Well, the Hoosiers still with a 14-point lead, 27-13, but Michigan State now will be looking for the shots. Indiana rising on those turnovers now, 9-5. to five. Knocked away by Bailey. Back they go to the post. There's the hook. And Henderson with another big board to Bailey. Inside, ball away. Good! Oh! That's the Damon Bailey we saw in high school. A tough shot as he drives the lane and then falls back away over two Michigan State players. Indiana up 16. 29-13. Poplowski muscles his way through Nover for two. Well, just one man can't stop him, Lyles. No, that's why Indiana's been helping. Here's the lob. Oh, he missed it. Timed it just a little bit wrong. Otherwise, we'd have had another alley-oop. Offensive, no blocking foul. A little bit premature, but uh, uh, a good call. Yes. Cheney just hadn't moved in front. Respert's got great quickness on the dribble. Let's watch him now. He crosses the line, makes up his mind. He's going to the basket right there. Seaton Cheney had to make a little step with that left foot, and that's what caused the foul. The second team foul against Indiana, first against Cheney, and now Michigan State gets it in, right back from Petlowski to the inbounds, and a whistle, and it's going against Nover. His first foul, as you look at Coach Knight, who really 
didn't approve of that too much, but what can you say? Well, he's pleased with the early performance right now by Indiana, at least 12 minutes in the ball game. Scramble. Oh, beautiful effort by Henderson getting it free from Toklowski. Now Bailey and a whistle. And that's going to go against Cheney on a push-off as he cleared Respert from his left shoulder. Cheney's fighting for that position. Indiana's just trying to score too quickly. I think if they take their time, run their offense, Michigan State has a better chance to make a mistake on their own on defense. Indiana's forcing the offense a little too much right now. Stegen got misses. Graham, Cheney trailing. Back to Graham for three. It goes, it'll be a four point play, an opportunity at least as Wachinski is called for the foul. There's the enthusiasm we talked about in the open. Indiana has got it today, helped by some good shooting. Ch uh, Greg Graham there with the three-pointer and the foul. Chance for that four-point play. Seven minutes, 41 seconds left in the first half, and Indiana with a 17-point lead over a team that beat them by 16 just 18 days ago. Graham had a great game in that first one against Michigan State. He's right on track today. Jamal Meeks now in the ball game. Calvert Cheney takes Oh, it it's a five-point a five point play because he was fouled after the shot. All right, so it is two shots. This could be the first, oh, it's the a first, first five, five I've point ever play seen. in Indiana history right there. What a turnaround. 34-15 now. Indiana. Seven minutes, 35 seconds left. Montgomery trying to direct the offense. Here's the steal. Here comes Henderson on the dunk. Jamal Meeks in for Indiana. We haven't had time to recognize that. Henderson is playing great. He's doing everything out there that's needed. And listen to this crowd. Wachinski, they go to the post, but he can't move. Does succeed in shooting over and over. That's a good move by Peplowski. He seems to have confidence right now when he gets that ball to be able to take that turnaround shot. Indiana's got to come down on him from the outside, put pressure on him like they did early in the game. Michigan State with a 2-3 defeat from Meeks to Matt Lover and the foul. Boy, look at the difference in the players' reaction now. They are very excited about being in this ball game. And that foul goes on Peplowski, his second. Meeks penetrates the middle. That's where he caused the trouble. Nover gets it, goes up strong. And there's the foul. Stevens in for a Stegen gun. Judd Heathcote trying everything, went to the zone, and the penetration right off the top by Meeks just set that up to Nover. 24 to 7 now. <laughs> Indiana has outscored Michigan State. And they've taken a commanding 22-point lead. 39-17, 6.45 left in this first 20-minute period. One of the te things that visiting teams fear at Assembly Hall is getting down by 15 or 20 points. Very difficult to come back on Indiana at Assembly Hall. But that's sort of one way to do it. Stevens hit the outside shot. Absolutely. Stevens has taken two and hit both of them from out there. So has Mark Montgomery. Each of them is, uh, has six points on two. And that won't fall. Rebound pulled down by Wyshynski. Here comes Montgomery. Wants to shoot the three. Tipped away by Nover. Very alert. Anticipation defense by Indiana. 2-3 zone now by Michigan State. They've got to try something different. Well, it didn't work there. Bailey with 10 points already in five minutes, just a little over five and a half minutes. Remaining Montgomery turns it over a shuffle and a step. That's a travel Five minutes 47 seconds as we said as Anderson comes back in replacing Alan Henderson and Great. the freshman gets a fine hand Great hand for Henderson as he gets back in there Indiana in the last couple minutes without Anderson or Cheney in the lineup still scoring well And a whistle and that's going to go against Indiana uh, Nover, I believe, although he and Anderson went over there trying to free up the pick, and it is against Nover. That 
points second against Matt and the fifth against the team. Michigan State has committed 10 so Indiana will be shooting two the rest of the way out the half. Respert kicks it back to Stevens Wyshynski Montgomery. They play in that perimeter area. There it is. And that's short. Tipped away back into the hands of Wyshynski. Stevens, who is excellent from outside. And a step in the feed to Peplowski. Reverse layup for two. He has eight. Not enough pressure on the outside. Michigan State able to drive into lane. And that's where you create the trouble. The end of setting a couple of picks. Bailey tries to slide away the feed. And that will go back to Michigan State. Well, Damon had the shot there, but he passed off. Meeks caught a little too far in the basket, couldn't get the shot away. Indiana looked like they were close to a score there, come away empty. Snow replaces Montgomery for State. 41-22, Hoosier lead is 19. And we have 4.43 to play. Whistle, that's going to go against State. It's away from the ball, offensive foul. They're going to call that on Peplowski. And we'll make the long walk as the Hoosiers will be shooting two. Judd Heathcote doesn't know what to think. Well, a big call there. That's three fouls on his big horse inside. And he doesn't know whether he has to take him out now or not. You'd hate to have him pick up that fourth. He's going to take him out. Stigenga checks in. Paplowski out. Let's watch that again at the other end. Nover's trying the defense. Look, Anderson's the one helping out now. He comes back off Stevens. Actually, Jamal Meeks. But Peplowski called inside. He's got three and he's on the bench. Stegen has a foul. Stevens a foul. Peplowski has three. Montgomery has two. Respert has not fouled. And Miller has committed three. Wyshynski has one. So Michigan State in just a little bit of trouble. Four minutes, 35 seconds left in the first period. 43-22 as Nover hits both free throws. Stegen got, there's the feed, and Nover got caught behind that time and then made the second cardinal mistake by fouling Stevens. Indiana's been playing behind most of the time. Nover got caught, though, on the top side. A simple cut to the basket, and all Nover could do was make that foul. But that's three on him. Fouls will be a big part of this second half. Stevens, a 75% shooter from the stripe, a junior from Ferndale, misses the first of two. Michigan State, well, we might say Heathcote, Judd Heathcote has been able to recruit remarkably well in the home state last. He does a great job, comes up with great players all the time. And gets the roll on the second for his seventh point. Miller, in fact, was the 1990 Mr. Basketball in Michigan. And there's a look at Judd. Great guy, great personality. Very dry humor, but a great basketball coach. 43-23, Indiana by 20. And the Hoosiers now playing collectively patient on this offensive series as Bailey suddenly flashes back for three. The best first half we've seen in a long time, Chuck. The team came out with enthusiasm. Every, the shots are starting to fall. The defense is holding up. Indiana's double the score. Raspert loses the ball and then gets it back. Here's Snow. Works it out of trouble. Stegenga. That's not going to go. And Anderson clears for Indiana. Meeks. What a move by Jamal Meeks. No basket. I'm going to call Stegenga on the block on Nover before Jamal got the shot away. Montgomery back in, Henderson back in for Indiana. Nover will sit down without no, rebounds. No, he can't sit down. Shoot. He's, He's got to shoot. shoot. Jamal got to the opening, but the foul came on Stigenga as Nover tried to set the pick. So Nover can't come out till he hits the free throws. with one of his best first halves, one of his best games. He is at his season average of six right now, Lance. 
And the one over it. He has seven. Now the substitution, Anderson from over, and we have a timeout. 340 remaining. Indiana leading by 25 points back after these messages from your local stations. This is the Raycom Sports Network. Teams that, that played a month ago, right? Laz and I haven't been with you too much in recent weeks due to uh, network uh, commitments to Indiana games, but our next time to be with you after tonight will be March 4th, Wednesday night, 8 o'clock at Iowa City. That's going to be a tough game. You know what happened to Ohio State yesterday? Indiana's got to make that trip. See what they can do over there. Allen Henderson, a great first half today. Really doing everything that, that needs to be done, not scoring a lot, but coming up with loose balls, diving on the floor. And that stuff shot he made really got this crowd going. Chris Reynolds in at the next dead ball opportunity. Let's watch Michigan State. They start that uh, traditional weave that they run. Respert across the top. Indiana steps out. There's a jump switch. Respert takes it inside. He just forced that one up off the glass. And the rebound comes to the hands of Henderson to Graham. Meeks will back it out. Good job there. Three. Nope, that's short. Rush that a little bit. Montgomery and the blocking foul. Oh, Bob Knight is up with his hands. Well, you can see. That will be the 17th foul against Indiana's. Let's look again. Let's watch Jamal fakes out. Yeah, that's right. He's moving to the right. He should have kept his position. I think he'd have been all right, but he moved out a little step. Comes out of the ball game. Now he does not come out for that reason, as uh, Chris Reynolds reports in. Well, that's free throws, four. 12 out of 13 for Indiana, and Michigan State one of four now, and Indiana's regained that edge they have had on most Big Ten teams of really beating people up from the foul line. Montgomery has the second for his seventh point. It's 48-24, ticking down to three minutes. Let's see. Yes, Michigan Les, State ahead. averages giving up 39 points in the first half in ball games. Indiana's got 48 tonight. Anderson. Anderson still struggling with his shot from outside. So not too willing to take it. Stegen fronts. Anderson. And that's going to be a blocking foul on Matt Stegen. His third. And now Judd Heathcote is just vehement. Well, he's got to be one. careful. He's That's got right. one technical. One more and he's out of here. Three fouls on Steiganga. All the Michigan State people inside now, the starters, have three fouls. Plaza, so, uh, as, as, you, as you look at Anderson, we've seen him play a lot. Uh, what do you think his problem is? Well, he's a good shooter from the outside, but he's got to be in his rhythm. His free throw shooting's down a little bit. He's only shooting about 41% from the field. Uh, the free throw's at 82, which is pretty good. But we know he can make the open shot. He's got to make some moves and score off the dribble to really become that double threat. 29-24, two minutes, 35 seconds left. There's the weave again. This time they cross it up and go to the glass. Back out to Indiana after Anderson had momentarily lost it. Here's Bailey. Good wheel move. Well, uh, Bob Knight wants goaltending, but I don't think the ball, quite frankly, had an honest hope of getting to the rim. Got to have a chance to go in. Let's watch. Damon off balance. Yeah, didn't have a chance to go in. Would have fell way short. Reynolds. Indiana is hot from the field. 17 of 23, 74%. Here's Stevens. Stegen. Stegen leaves the ball unguarded quite a bit, last. He can get that slapped away. Rebounding a big key now for Indiana. They're controlling the boards. 
minute 50. Bailey fires on the move. Rebound. No foul. Back up again as Graham gets it off the sort of a block pass assist by Allen Henderson. No doubt about it. The best first half Indiana's had this season. Michigan State, a ranked team. Indiana really putting it to them. Montgomery looks. Boy, Bailey, just a, another step there. He'd have that. Knight wanted to travel on that. Inside Montgomery, and it's not going to fall. Anderson clears. Michigan State really having trouble from the field, even on their good close shots. Can't get him to fall. There's that rebounding. Indiana 14 to 7. In goes! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Off balance, uh, shot that falling down a little bit. It's Indiana's day. Yep. They'll start to roll in. Last, a game like this has a tendency, has a tendency to take the stamina out of you, too, when you're not hitting. Yes, it does. And uh, we mentioned teams don't like to come in here and get behind. Too difficult to come back on Indiana. Judd Heathcote knows that so well. But he, of all the Big Ten coaches, has the best record here in Assembly Hall at 6-9. and nine. Well, at the risk of being, oh, look at Stegen guy. He's, he's caught it in the lip. I've always liked this young man on the court. He's always been a very uh, a gentleman in his play and uh, with good concentration. And you know that lip has to be hurting a little bit. He picks up his first point. Wyshynski is in. He'll replace Resper. Nope. Take it back. Montgomery. I, we were talking about Heathcote just a minute ago. I've always liked this gentleman too. He's been very, very kind to us as broadcasters when we're at East Lansing. And uh, he's he's just a gentleman's gentleman, uh, plus the fact that he plays a, a pretty sanitary game himself, Last, Yes, good uh, good player. Zulop now in for Michigan State. Judd's got to shovel that line up a little bit. He's getting in some foul trouble. He's got his big horses on the bench right now. Doesn't want to have them pick up a silly foul in the last 30 seconds of the half. Indiana's going to wait for the last shot. John Zulop who is uh, standing somewhat inconspicuously against Anderson is 6'6 and a junior from Port Huron. 25 seconds. Well, Indiana's just clocks daring them to come down. 20 seconds on the shot clock. The clocks are identical, yes. though. So Indiana can wait for that last shot. Now Indiana starts to play in motion. Under to Bailey. Oh, what a contorted shot that is for his 15th point. Five seconds. Snow will fire. No, Anderson clears, and Indiana holds it and takes a very commanding lead into the locker room at halftime. An outstanding first half as Judd Heathcote ponders now what he's going to say in the locker room. The end of the first half with the score, Indiana 55, Michigan State 26. Tonight's game tough. At that 10 second line through Michigan State right out of the offense and really clamped down on Peplowski. Indiana with a possession to start the second half. Let's see what the Hoosiers can do. And again, as we said at the start of the game, to get off to a good start here would be excellent. Out of bounds, Indiana. Stay in it. Stay in it. Bailey with 15 points in the first half gets it right into Henderson and Henderson looking kicks it back out to Graham inside to Anderson Anderson over Stegenga and it's not going to go a rebound pulled away by Stevens Dwayne Stevens with only seven points in the first half a reverse layup misses everything and into the hands of Cheney who just one hand of that and kept it from going out of bounds. It'd be nice if uh, Indiana could get Cheney into the offense in the first uh, in the second half last. Well, they can take their time now. They've got the big lead and they can work the uh, offense. That time, though, a bad pass. This is what Michigan State wants an up and down the floor game. Yeah, but and then was, they throw it away. That's right. That was a little bit too up. Trying to hit Stevens, who had his man beaten, and it was uh, actually about a three on none. But uh, Michigan State turned it over. Both teams sluggish. Crowd trying to get Indiana going. Here's Henderson. Won't go. And there's a hook and a hold, and that's going to go against Michigan State. 
that will be on Respert, his first. You almost, uh, you know, you have to have a halftime, but you'd almost in this game just to have Indiana just play right through it. They were playing so well, and to slow down for 15 minutes, they just don't seem as sharp as they did in the first half. You know, back when you were playing last in 74 75 there were games where I bet you uh, as a team collectively felt hey let's just keep playing 40. Sure and that's the way these guys felt today and that's some leadership right there. Cheney with the three point play to get Indiana on the board but Michigan State makes a big play as Montgomery comes the other way. And uh, Montgomery gets the basket the foul will go against Anderson his first. Big play for Indiana. Montgomery does the right thing. Tries to make up. Look, he switched to the right hand. He's a left-handed player. Anderson draws the foul, his first. Montgomery, a senior, averaging 7.2. He's over that now with his 10th point, and it's 58-29. Indiana back to a 29-point lead, same as at a halftime. So each team has exchanged three-point opportunities. And here's Cheney on the drive. Tries to get past Stegen. Good, good adjustment. Henderson, and he travels. Indiana's still not clicking on that offense. 477 victories for Bob Knight. Not that far away from 478. 18 minutes and 12 seconds to be exact if Indiana can hold the lead. But now they begin to get back into the game. Respert with his first second half field goal. Down to Cheney. And now he's got some rhythm. Yep, he's ready to go now. He wanted to post up inside instead of trying to dribble in there. He just took that little fall away. He gets such great leg extension. He can shoot over players. Great shooter on that baseline. Graham tightens up on Montgomery. Stevens looking, finds Montgomery, and tipped away, up off the rim. Good effort by Indiana that time, getting the deflection, uh, deflection breaking the cadence, and Indiana comes up with the ball. The Indiana's got the, uh, the ability now to slow it down. They don't have to score as fast as they did in the first half. Henderson goes right through Poplowski, but he travels. That's what you need to do against Poplowski, that good quick move. Henderson did the right thing. I didn't see the travel, but that's the call. Turn over to Michigan State. 60-31. Indiana tries to deny the cut. No call. Inside, Poplowski. Up off the glass as Cheney takes the errant shot. That was off everything. Well, he's getting the shots, it looks like, but he's really struggling from the field. Bailey, oh, he's got rhythm. Oh, it's great to see him back. Comes Indiana again. Back to Bailey for three. Oh! He is back. Five quick points for Damon. 65-31. Montgomery goes right through Anderson. Out of bounds. It'll be Michigan State ball. Bailey only averaging 12 and a half points in his last three games. He's got 20 in the ball game today. Indiana let that one slip out of bounds. They had four players underneath. Kaplowski just gets right through everybody. Anderson and Henderson for two more. He has 10. Kaplowski is, is tenacious and he's a competitor. Doesn't quit. And a great team player. Only a junior. He'll be back next year. He's a senior by class, but he's uh, a five-year because of the red shirt. Offensive foul on Greg Graham. Graham thought he had his man beaten and man out of position. I think Bob Knight did, too. Indiana's forcing the offense again, and that'll get him in trouble. 16 minutes left to play. Indiana has the lead 65-33, and we'll be back after these messages. of our down camera. This is the north end of Assembly Hall. Look at this. Look at Pitlowski. Muscle his way inside. Got the position. Good leaping ability for a guy 270 pounds. Really bringing that rim down. Okay, we're all set. Time's back in again. Clock ticking. Michigan State with a mountainous job ahead of it here. 
No over and back. And a foul. It was a loose ball situation. The ball did go across the line. No call there. Two fouls now on Allen. On Henderson. Well, let's, let's look at it, Les. There, Damon touches it twice, so now it becomes a loose ball. Did Respert have possession? They said no. He was just on a dribble there, so there's no call. That would be a referee. <laughs> he didn't really establish uh, possession in the front court. That's why I was able to go across. They decided that was a loose ball. No, referee. everybody yells at referees. Why would you want to be a referee? Stevens puts the second up and off the rim and through two. He has nine and uh, is in within one point of being a cold leading score for the Spartans to Henderson. Everybody's cleared away from Henderson. Poplowski, the lone defender. Now Poplowski behind the screen by Graham finally gets free. Here's Anderson and a block. And that is the second team foul against Michigan State. So by this stage, look at Judd wondering what to do. In the first half, he was up and down a lot. In the second half, he seems to be seated a lot more. Well, by this stage in the first half, Laz, Indiana was a shooting one and one and had yet to commit its first foul. Stegenga He's comes out. Four. And Miller is back in. Stegenga with his fourth foul. Yeah, real problem now for Michigan State. Michigan State playing, uh, it looks like a, a matchup man. And we'll look at Henderson. Hey, nothing's working today. Indiana's nope. just playing too well. But they bring it back quickly. Here's Montgomery. Look at Henderson right back on Petklowski. No way to get that ball in there to him. Stevens, top of the key, and the rebound to Anderson. And then when you have one man behind him, which is Anderson, he's right there for good blockout position. Foul will go against State. And that's on Stevens, his second. So let's set it here. Stegenga has four, Stevens two, Poplowski has three, Montgomery has two. Respert has one. Miller has three. Lashinsky has picked up the foul, too. Saved. Oh, right into the hands. Here's a two on none. Stevens will take it in for the slam dunk. So careless ball handling by Indiana cost them two. And it all started from the baseline. To Bailey on a little cut. There's Indiana in their motion offense, moving without the ball. And you can see when you catch that ball in the move, so much easier to score. Dishes it off, Stevens into Peplowski. And that big one and a half steps that Mike takes looks like a travel, but he puts himself in great shooting position. He has really improved so much in the last year. Really a lot of confidence when he gets that ball inside. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Now that is Cheney going over a six foot ten guy. Peplowski couldn't get as high as Cheney that time. Miller. Respert. Peplowski. Here he comes. Boy, did he pull that ball away. That was a Houdini. And uh -huh. hits it at the other end. Good job. He just used that pull up jumper about ten feet. Everything Indiana is doing is working today. Indiana was 69% in the first half, and they're right at that here in the second. 73-39. Stevens looking. He's got Pavlowski over Anderson. Anderson got a hand, his second foul, and that will send Mike to the line. It's hard work in the Big Ten. Look at that look on Anderson's face. Still got 13 minutes to go. And here's why. Look, he's got Poplowski. A couple hands, a little hand on him right there. Damon comes over to help. But Anderson draws the foul. That is the fourth against Indiana, second half. Michigan State with three team fouls. And Chris Reynolds will check in again in a moment. Poplowski, not a good free throw shooter, but he hits this one, 68%. Bailey is out. He leaves with 22 points. Chris Reynolds. What a game for Bailey. Good hand as he leaves. Coach Knight with a little congratulations there. 
Uh, one would wonder right now what, what it is as uh, Poplowski hits the second for his 14th point. Wyshynski is back in, and he'll replace Respert, who takes a breather with 1350. One would wonder, last, uh, why the roller coaster? Why 30, then none? Why 26, then none? Why 22? Well, let's find out whatever it was today. Let's bottle it and sell it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Inside, Cheney doubled. Anderson. Fires, scores! That's off the move, and Anderson from the baseline. He likes it down there. That was his fifth point. Indiana ball. Anderson took a real spill there. Looks like he tripped up his feet. There's Judd. One of those days, nothing's going right. 12 minutes, 50 seconds remaining. Indiana, of course. Oh, what a cut by Calvert, and a good read by Allen Henderson. Boy, is this fun, huh? Every time down the floor, they come up with something different. Timeout. With that basket, the score is 77-41. Time for this 76-point reminder. After the game, stop by your neighborhood 76 station for quality 76 gasolines or convenience items. 12 and a half remaining, 77-41. Back after these messages. This is the Raycom Sports Network. Watch Henderson. No. Hold it right there. Alley oops have to have an eye contact. Laz, let's look I, at this last one. I don't see it. Watch Cheney. Here's Graham. He never looks at Graham. He just breaks, and Graham. Saw it coming, Henderson with the pick. I didn't see any eye contact there. Intuition, maybe. Back to live action. Wyshynski with the ball, leans in. Look at Henderson, take it away. That's a steal on the block. He gets one of each on that one. Henderson leading the team with 27 block shots. Step in by Anderson. Offensive oh. foul. He makes a great move on the drive. We're going to call it player control, which means no basket. Good fake there. He's got everybody up. Did he let go of the ball before the contact? The referee says no. So they don't allow the basket. And a technical. Now they've hit Knight with a technical foul. Bob Knight is still upset over the fact that they took the basket away from Eric Anderson. So Respert, the best free throw shooter at 90%, takes the first. And misses the second. Let's take a look again. Maybe we can see again, Raz. All right, if he lets go of the ball before the contact, there's contact, and there the ball goes. It was probably a good call. But you can't blame a coach for defending his player. Miller. Knocked away. Here he comes. Here comes Cheney, two on one. Reynolds for two. Boy, right, Cheney pulls up. He does a great job avoiding the charge. Gets Indiana an easy basket. 79-42. Indiana's lead is 37 points. Wyshynski, Stevens, will fire, gets it right back and puts it in. Poplowski just came right over Indiana for his 16th point. There's a guy who never gives up. He's really in the ball game now. Henderson, oh, Henderson had a great chance to drive on Poplowski, but uh, didn't take advantage of it. Anderson. And a reach in, that's going to be a foul on Respert, his second. The coach is looking up the scoreboard right now. Still looking up. Well, he's been all over Licklider and O'Neill and Chrisman.
Cheney. Anderson. Cheney steps up. Not going to go. Wyshynski clears. Yeah, the Paris by Great Greg job Graham. By Graham. Terrific. Look how far out Michigan State's got their offense. And the basket will count foul on Anderson, his fourth. That sends Peplowski back to the line. He has 18, four over his average, and 16 against Indiana up there. Just a lot of muscle. Watch him now. He's got guys all over him. He turns. He's strong. There's the foul. Still gets it to go. That's an all Big Ten play right there. Gets this one to fall, too. 19 points. So he's. Scoring later for the Spartans with 10 minutes 40 seconds remaining 79 47 Indiana. Now it's important that Indiana maintains a pace. They cannot afford to relax him. Tipped up. Henderson will try to go back up does go back no basket. Bob Knight says why not. He was in the act of shooting the ball didn't leave your hand on that kind of shot. That foul, however, is on Poplowski. But Indiana not going to get the basket. Watch Cheney. Look at how quick Henderson jumps, tips it. He's up again already. So he got up quicker than Poplowski both times. Foul, oh, he, had, he hadn't started his jump, though. That's a good call. You know, more times than not, Les, when you look at controversial calls, the officials, when you get an intimate shot of it, the officials are right. And we get to see it on a slow motion replay. They got to do it the first time. But you're right, Chuck. I think that's been evident in a lot of our replays. Snow pulls up. Wyshynski. Got on top. Miller. Snow. Wyshynski for three. It goes. He is 12 of 33 from that distance. That's his first. Three points of the game. Cut. Shit. And the miss. Back into the hands. And no foul. He stole it right yep. back. Graham missed the shot, stole it right back. Threw that left-handed shot up, missed it. 79-50, a 29-point Hoosier lead with nine and a half left to play. Yeah, there's a little back cut. Wyshynski comes up short this time. Out left to Graham. Cheney knocked away. No, lost the ball. Substitution, Zuloff in for Michigan State. Bailey back, Nover is back. Poplowski is coming out with four fouls. And Jamal Meeks checks in for Indiana. Meeks replaces Reynolds. Graham sits down, so does Anderson. 20 points now for Poplowski. There's the Indiana bench. Players getting a well-deserved rest. It is rough out there today. Indiana has four players in double figures. 22 for Bailey. He's in there now. Greg Graham on the bench with 20. Henderson has 10, and Cheney has 13. And uh, two more. That was Miller. Great play. Used that head and shoulder fake. Got a round over for the layup. 79-52. 27 point advantage for Indiana. Under to Henderson. Little push. And that will be the 16 foul against the Spartans. There's Judd. Michigan State with only two more road games after tonight. Illinois and Northwestern. Probably two they should win. They're awful tough to beat at home. They could win their next six ball games. That's why this was such an important game for them. It doesn't look good right now. They can't get it to fall. No, no. Call it the other way? No, they say it is Michigan State's ball. Off Indiana. Indiana and Ohio State, on the other hand, have very difficult road games coming up. Indiana, of course, at Iowa, what we showed you before. They've got to go up to Michigan. Got to play their final game at Purdue. Miller. Off the post and a good move. 79-54, inside eight and a half minutes left. Let's see what Meeks can do. Wants to set something up, goes to Cheney. Cheney's had a good second half. He has 13 points. Nine of those have come in this period. Good wheeling move by Henderson, and he'll go to the line. 
He's played great today. Michigan State had scored the last eight points in the game to cut that lead to 25. Henderson, though, gets to go to the line. Laz, uh, you did not have the privilege of playing as a freshman. The uh, freshman rule was not in effect then as uh, Graham comes in replacing Cheney. But uh, you played freshman ball. In your opinion, how difficult is it for a freshman to come in and play at the level he is playing? Well, I think it's real tough to, to make that change uh, and to come out here and play is very difficult. Allen has done a great job. He's got great skills. He's a hard worker, and he's had a great first year here, which only makes you believe that his second, third, and fourth will be even better. They call that on Stegenga, driving right past the outstretched arms of uh, Allen Henderson and Stegenga just on that quick move has committed his fifth foul. At the 7.58 mark, he leaves with only two points. That's, a, that's amazing. Indiana did the job. We talked about Michigan State's inside scoring. This is one of their big guns. Held the two points before he fouls out. Mark Montgomery checks in. 7.58 left. 81-54 is the score. Back after these messages. In just to Ohio State St. John Arena this coming Sunday. That's a critical contest there. Yeah, that's the other big road game coming up on the schedule. And it looks like that'll be for the Big Ten lead. Inside to Henderson. Off the glass. I tell you, the young man has a lot of confidence. Oh, he drew that foul here to get Steiganger out of the game, and then right away gets a basket. That's short off the rim. Rebound to Bailey. Brings it right up through the traffic. No help from anyone to let him know where things were, and misses the shot. Bailey will chase it down. Oh, what a great hook save by Damon Bailey. Well, Michigan State just missed a golden opportunity for two there. And a whistle. Kicking the ball. Reset the clock. Petlowski comes back in. So does Respert. And so does Stevens. Michigan State's not giving up. They put their big guns back in there. But every play Indiana seems to be making today is working. Respert only five points today, averaging 16 a game. Man, Lance, if you could play golf, and you are about a three handicap or two handicap, if you could play golf as well as these guys are playing out here today, you'd be on the tour. You'd have a career round, that's for sure. Montgomery to Pawlowski, hook. Into the hands of Meeks. Meeks trying to direct the move. To Henderson. Oh, what a follow by Greg Graham. Came out of the baseline and again that quick jump, but fast break by Michigan State at the other end. And that's what Indiana was giving up as Stevens scores here. That's what Indiana was giving up at East Lansing. Now the UCLA game, too. Remember exactly. that first game of the year? UCLA really crushed Indiana down the floor. Indiana will use all of its players knocked away. Out of bounds. And uh, Leary, Todd Leary, and Todd Lindemann. Two Todds. Shall we call him Todd Square? <laughs> Report in for Indiana, replacing Henderson and uh, Cheney. Lindemann's going to get an experience here. He's on Petlowski. This is welcome to the Big Ten. Well, let's see what he can do. It's a good challenge for him. Dishes it back. Wyshynski for three, and he gets it to roll. That's why he's in there. That's his second one today. Bailey with five minutes, 53 seconds there. We'll try to get the ball to the post. See what Lindemann can do. There he is. To Larry on a cut and a travel. Drag, drag his foot. Drag that foot trying to stop. Now Reynolds replaces Graham. So we will probably have seen the last of Greg Grant with 22. He had that great game against Michigan State earlier. Comes through again here with big points. Kicks it back up. Montgomery for three. No. Kaplowski goes right through the mess in the melee. Comes out, however, into the hands of Nover to Leary.
Off the rim, no. And Westbrook clears. Here's the court length pass, and they threw it away. It'll go back to Indiana. Indiana still shooting well, 66% for the game. Michigan State really suffering at 38. How does Michigan State get this transition going so late in the game? Are they catching Indiana's guards deep, Laz? They are a little bit. It didn't happen in the first half. The game's getting away a little bit. Indiana may be crashing the boards a little too much, too, from the outside. And Michigan State sending the guy all the way down. There's Bailey and a whistle. That's going to send uh, Bailey to the line as the foul goes against Wyshynski, his second. Kowski playing with four personal fouls with four minutes 50 seconds remaining and we saw Indiana struggle a week ago at Minnesota never caught up got behind early never caught up and then they really seemed to be uh, in a daze as the Northwestern game started down eight to nothing they fought their way back in but notice the difference today the enthusiasm they came out the confidence they started hot the game continued on that way Bailey came out had a great day from the field and it's a completely different team. The emotional level of the team so much better today than in the last two hours. Wyshynski on the line and another turnover is just costly. I'll tell you, uh, if we could explain this as well as explain why players such as Bailey and Anderson have ups and downs and everything, we could bottle it and you and I could well, retire and go to an island. We talked about that and, uh, you know, we forget sometimes these are 18 to 21 year old That's exactly kids. Right. And uh, they're doing the best they can. And today's one of those days where it really played well. That foul will go once again against Michigan State. That will be on Peplowski. And Mike has fouled out with 19 points. There's the handshake. You know it was forthcoming. Bob Knight just congratulates this young man. He really likes the way he yes, works. He does. Well, and I'll tell you something. I do, too. I... I would have liked for him to have been recruited five years ago. Four you years see, ago. there's David Bailey, 24 points. There's that All-American smile. Not today for Peplowski, though. He gets 21 points, but it's bittersweet because Michigan State's going to lose this game. Miller replaces Mike. And over his first point, second half, and he adds another for his ninth. 89 59 four and a half minutes left to play. Oh, that's a good lob underneath blocked by Lindemann good hands. To the glass what a body move by Matt Nover. Oh, How did he slide through those two guys. I don't know. And then to get that soft shot up there. He is a locomotion coming here. Watch this. We don't get in this way. This is the block at the other end. Watch Lindemann. Yeah, right there. He taps it away. And then here's the pass by Reynolds. Watch Nover. He's got a change. He squeezes through two guys. He gets knocked by Miller. Great play by Nover. Misses the free throw, however. And the Spartans now trailing 91-59. Just see what they can get going. One on one. Oh, a hand on the ball. Here comes Indiana three on one. Larry leads to feed to Meeks. He gets it to drop. Fake left, go right. It worked that time. Three minutes, 56. Three on the way, and it's good. All the way by Rusper. You can see Rusper can be dangerous. He's had a pretty good second half. Lindemann. No, it's not going to go. Fans. The roof would come off here if he'd hit that one. 16,889, and they throw it away. We have three minutes, 37 seconds remaining. 93-62, Indiana. Back after these messages from your local stations. This is the Raycom Sports Network. Here's Larry. Fakes to the left. Comes back to the right. Jamal gets the uh, roll there. Indiana, the biggest lead of the game now, 31 points. Indiana will go to undisputed control of first place in the Big Ten with a 10 and 2 record. But they, however, will be one game behind. Uh, or Ohio State is one game behind in play. 
They got a shooting 60% in this half. Talked about the rebounding Indiana with the edge for the game. And the lead up court to Respert, and he gets two. That's good intimidation by Indiana, but the Hoosiers were caught once again. Out of position. Respert's 10 points. To Reynolds. That's not going to go. Hoosiers rushing their shots now. They want the 100. And Michigan State wants to do everything they can to keep them from getting. Reynolds stepped in there to prevent that layup. Two minutes, 50 seconds. To Nover. Yes. Matt Nover having a great game. 13. For Matt. Wyshynski steps to the three and scores. Well, he squares up quickly. He really does. Great shooter, great form. Nine points for Wyshynski, all from three-point range. 95-67. And again, Lindemann tries to come to the post. Lindemann. Oh, does he square quickly? He does a nice job. It's tough to block that shot. He seems to be gaining some confidence in his last couple games. Now, when he gets his footing, gets his Big Ten legs, so to speak, Laz, he's going to be a pretty threatening ball player. Wyshynski, ball away, two more. This has to be one of his better games, averaging six, and he has 11. 6'3 sophomore from Purcellville, Virginia. And a kick. Reset the clock. In a bench somewhat passive over entry passes like that from uh, Leary in critical games that uh, that would be frowned on right there. I mean, you can see they're pretty serious on the bench still. But what a big win for Indiana today really sends a message around the league. A great recovery from last month's defeat. The push will send Nover back to the line. Zuloff has picked up his third. Well, uh, oh, no. What are they going to say? What do they say here? They say that's on Nover backing in. I think so. Let's watch it. Coach Knight doesn't believe it. There's no look. He hooked him. Look at yeah, over. Okay. He's got that arm around him. It's a good call. Well, we couldn't see the arm either. I don't think Coach saw. Now, I was going to say, Laz, uh, before the game, if you would have told me that Indiana would be sitting on a nearly a 30 point advantage with a minute 36 seconds remaining in this game, I would have laughed. But look at how, uh, how this could catapult Indiana into that game Sunday with Ohio State. They're really playing well. We're going to take a day off tomorrow and then uh, give you a couple days to get ready for Ohio State on Sunday. That basket is by Eric Snow, the 6'3 freshman from Canton, Ohio, and a whistle. And we stop the action once again. This time, I think they will stay at this end of the court. That is the foul on Mike Poplowski, his fifth. No, I'll take that back. I'm sorry, 34. That's Miller. There's Miller. Poplowski. There's Poplowski on the bench. Again. They don't. Uh, the light uh, lightness there. So that's the fifth foul on Miller, and he joins Steginga and uh, Poplowski on the bench, fouling out with one minute and 24 seconds. Todd Lindemann at the line to shoot two. I think the fans are as vocal when he misses one, Laz, as they are when yeah. Indiana ran up the lead. And they're rooting for him. They yes, want to see a big guy like that come in here and be a force next year. And uh, they're behind him. That's great. Average is three and a half, and he has three. Snow with a minute 20. Gets the rebound, pulls it down. Strong hands on that move. Crowd wants 100. Another basket will do it. Well, who's going to get it? Turn around, Lineman. He got it! Snow from outside. Rebound to Lineman. Here comes Indiana, 52 seconds. Mary for three. He got it! What a way to close. Thrown away. It's uh, Michigan State ball. 
Boy, what a great win for Indiana. First time now in four years that Michigan State has given up over 100 points in a ball game. Judd Heathcote, known for his defense, everything went right for Indiana. Zulov makes a good penetration. Indiana will let him enter, and he gets his first basket. 29 seconds. Hoosiers, will they play for the last shot? No shot clock. Inside knocked away as Nover cuts one way, the pass goes another. Zulov. And he can't do anything with it. Respert will fire. Rebound. Nover. Eight seconds. Larry, oh, that ball was in the well and out. And we've come to the end of the game. What a win for Indiana. The Hoosiers put on their shooting clothes and their defensive shoes. And they out-defended and outscored. Judd Heathcote, who has a big smile on his face, even in a losing cause. Final score, Indiana 103, Michigan State 73. We'll be back after these messages.